This devilishly fiendish tool was designed by Kelly Arrowsmith for her clients at Personal Safety. Now, this tool is a fantastic implement for keeping people away from you, keeping the bad guy away from you. Its name is the Vuspus, and for those of you that don't speak German, you can call it the Vicious Kitty. When would I carry this with me? I'd carry this with me all the time. They're affordable, they're durable, they're 60 rand a pop. I would put them where I could have access to one all day long. How would I use it? I would use it in an X-like fashion. And I would use it to keep somebody that's trying to hurt me away from me. I X and I would cut at anything that reaches out towards me. It can also be used in a jabbing function. Remember, if I'm going to jab, I'm going to pull it back. That's how I would use it. We'll go into a little bit more detail later. Who would use this? You don't have to be big. You don't have to be strong to use this. It can work for almost anybody. Ah, important when we start looking at this tool, let's learn how to get a grip. Are there kind of two ways to grip this tool? One is like this, with your two fingers wrapped through it, and then having it cinched down into the palm of your hand, to that meat of your hand, much like the drawing next to me. The other way you can do it is to use these two fingers here and take them, drive them in, wrap it around. Now, it's not my personal favorite, but if this feels comfortable for you, no reason why it can't work. So get a nice tight grip on the tool. Gripping the tool, how would I actually employ this? If we look at this, this is, this is a pretty funky material. It's kind of like a pool noodle, but it's very, very close to the texture of, of somebody's arm, upper arm. So I told you one of the techniques I like is to kind of slash with it. So I'm going to put a couple of slashes in here just to show you how effective this tool really is. Uh, let's see if we can get this line it up a bit better. Um, just watch me slash. Guys, that is the slashing that I've been doing. Look at the size of those holes and that was really a small light slash. So yes, it does gouge big holes. If I was going to stab, no, I'm not going to hold it tight. I'm just going to show you how easily it goes into this material. Look at that. Bang. Simple. And I just used two fingers. All right. Goes in nicely. Really, really works well. A lot of people say to me, John, but then isn't it going to cut you? No. The edges aren't sharp enough to cut your finger if you just run past it slowly. They really become effective when we run this at speed. Excellent. How would I carry this? Number one, on my keys. Or just using it as a key holder. It's got this little, comes with this nifty little split ring. So you can attach your keys to it because no matter how loud you whistle and call, it ain't coming to you. I like to have more than one of these around. Backpacks. One of my favorite places to carry one of these, I carry a backpack a lot, is either in the pocket of the backpack or attached to the side of the backpack. It looks quite innocuous there. And why I like it in conjunction with the backpack is because I can hold the backpack against my chest, cover my vital organs, and I can take this and I can use it to keep somebody away from me, especially if they have a, a sharp implement like a pair of scissors, a screwdriver, or maybe a knife. It gives me time to create distance, protect this area, and get away. I also like to hang these behind the door. In fact, I put a little hook behind the door and I hang one there. Reason being, if it's the door of my bedroom, which I consider a safe area, and someone in my house is escaping the bad guys to the bedroom, while they're closing the bedroom door, they can take this out and use it to clear the space so they can actually get that door closed and locked to keep themselves safely inside. 
Guys, these are just some ideas to use this tool. They're durable, they're inexpensive, and they make a huge difference. And if you want to get one of these for somebody that you're concerned about their safety, you can start them on the road to starting to become their own responder and be responsible for their own safety. But as always, remember, train hard, train smart, use good equipment, or in this case, excellent equipment, and stay safe out there, guys.